What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex, and this is Ask the Cheese Gaming, and I'm back with a new Super Nintendo video game review for you. In this week's review, I'll be taking a look at Lemmings. Lemmings was all over the place back in the 8-bit and 16-bit day. Now the Super Nintendo port was developed by Cyanosis, published by Sunsoft, with a North American release date of March 1st, 1992. Lemmings is a puzzle platformer that sees you use these various lemming creatures, green-haired, whatever they are, and you have to order them around with specific jobs that you can see there on the bottom left in order to get them from where they start from all the way through the end of the level. Every single level requires you to get a specific number of lemmings in order to clear it and get to the next mission. You also have a timer. This takes me to the first issue of the game, as unfortunately, if you're waiting for one lemming to go from one end of the game to the other, unlike the PC MS-DOS port, which allowed you to fast forward, you can't do that in this game. Now, there's no story or anything to speak of, but I will give Lemming some credit in the fact that, you know, the game starts off very forgiving and kind of eases the players into the missions that they're having you do. And kind of give you an idea of what all, you know, each ind individual ability does, such as here, or the parachute, or the first mission with digging. Now, next, I want to touch on this game's controls. It gets to be a little bit tricky, because this is, after all, a PC port. So, unfortunately, the Super Nintendo just does not really lend itself to this type of game. The Lemmings 2 port actually allowed you to use the Super Nintendo mouse. Unfortunately, this version does not, so it takes a little bit to get used to it just to kind of get a feel for, you know, what button does what and how to get through the game. If there's one area that I feel that this game severely lacks, it's in its overall music. I mean, the music in this just game is just awful. I mean, it's just, you know, I find myself, you know, every time I play this game just... You know, just turning it off, putting something else on. Now, it is kind of cool with the sound effects, though, of having these little lemon creatures, you know, make such unique effects, especially when you decide to, you know, blow them all up, which you can do. They just make this, you know, hilarious wahoo effect. It's, it's pretty funny. So, I will give this game some credit. For its overall, you know, sound effects, but when it comes to music, it's it's just bad. It's just really bad. Now, next area that I want to touch on briefly is the background and artwork design. Unfortunately, this game struggles a little bit here and definitely shows its age. I mean, it's just... This game almost looks more like an 8-bit NES game than it does necessarily a Super Nintendo game. There's just not any, you know, sharpness or contrast. Though I will say, some of the later puzzles do look very detailed and can offer quite a bit of intricacies. So to close out this review, is Lemmings worth picking up and adding to your Super Nintendo collection today? Well, with a price charting price of almost $17, I would say unless you're a hardcore puzzle game fan, or you play this game on other consoles and you really enjoyed it, no, I'd stay away. If you're just passing through out of idle curiosity, because, you know, maybe you see this one at the store or at some kind of gaming convention, you're like, hey, Lemmings, I've never heard of that, or maybe you were like me, you played it as a kid and you're kind of curious about it. Unless you can get it for a really great steal, like 10 bucks or less, then sure, go ahead and grab it. But just out of idle curiosity, no. You can find better games elsewhere. Or, if you really want to, go find a free-to-play on the MS-DOS Games Archive. Like I said, there's just too many games, too many drawbacks against this game, between not being able to fast-forward, the difficult-to-learn controls. Just, I'd stay away. Thanks for watching, everybody, and until next time.